President Trump is calling for all churches to reopen across the country starting this weekend, despite warnings by public health officials. As you might imagine, local leaders of faith seem to be split on this issue. WGN's Megan Dwyer joining us live with this story. Megan. Hey guys, yes, uh, despite warnings, there could be fines and other criminal penalties. Some of the churches in Chicago are expecting to hold services tomorrow, saying they follow God's laws, not the governor's. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. It's not right. President Trump calling for all churches in America to open back up this weekend. If they don't do it, I will override the governors. In America, we need more prayer, not less. He said so many dangerous and foolish things. Add this to the list. Despite the city finding three churches $500 last week. We'd like to thank uh, President Trump. Moore planned to defy the governor's orders this weekend, emboldened by the president's rhetoric. We just like to exercise our rights here on this Memorial Day weekend to celebrate the right to worship as so many who've died and fought for this right all over the world. They are now asking the governor and the mayor to allow 50 people to gather instead of 10. We are uh, going to distance, social distance. We are going to sanitize when they walk in. We have masks already prepared. Uh, we're not going to do no singing. Earlier this week, Willie Wilson said he would pay any fines up to a million dollars. If they want to open up, let them open up. Don't be intimidated. But some faith leaders are saying it's too much too soon. We're inclined to follow these doctors' advice. The most dangerous thing we can do is open our churches too fast. Slow and steady wins the race. On a webinar today organized by the Rainbow Push Coalition, pastors called on each other to love their congregations enough to protect them. And a lot of people say, well, if Walmart is open and the marijuana dispensary is open, then the church should be open. Well, ain't nobody shouting at Walmart. Ain't nobody singing at Walmart. It is not the same kind of gathering. We reached out to the mayor's office today to ask if $500 fines are really enough to deter these churches from reopening to large crowds. She says Chicago police will continue to monitor gatherings, even especially this coming Sunday, and she continues to work with local faith leaders on some sort of gradual reopening plan. I'm live at home tonight. Megan Dwyer, back to you guys. All right, Megan, we'll see if those fines are actually issued.